ancient people. We are the Kombamere people, the traditional custodians of this land. Our history goes back tens of thousands of years. Our tribal boundaries extend north to the Coomera River, south to the Tweed River and west to the foothills of Mount Tambourine. In our culture, when a visitor comes to the border of our land, we welcome them. We use smoke to cleanse their spirit and dance to invite safe passage. On behalf of our ancestors, we welcome you. We ask that you respect this land, enjoy your time here and have a safe journey home to your loved ones. Nanyabu, Nali in Kayala, Bulgul Buglan Nayanga Wallow. Till we see you again, we wish you all the very best. Woman and my business name is Bunan Tamoran Art and today I've joined Headspace to talk a little bit about Aboriginal art and also just to kind of teach you a few things that I do as an artist. So the first thing I'm just going to quickly go through is a step-by-step -step on how I actually paint. So the first step is always to prime my um, canvas or whatever I'm painting on. So I'll do about two layers of paint um, and that just really gives your background really beautiful pop and can really make a difference in your art. The next step is to block out um, any big bits of colour that I'm going to be putting on um, and this is where I'll also paint symbols, animals, um, just things like that. Like this is where I would paint these big lines, um, like half circles, things like that. So that's the next step. After that, that's when you start actually putting in detail. So that's when I start putting in dots and lines and outlining things. And this is a part where your art really comes to life. Um, if you do make a mistake, this is when the back 
ground or the first layer that you put on really helps because if you make a mistake, you can just grab that color, go over it and then fix it up with whatever color you are using. Um, with dotting, uh, you can use anything that really has a flat surface and that's round. I actually like to use, I actually like to use texture ends. So um, I really love textures because you can pretty much find them anywhere and you can get different size um, textures or pens. So the end will kind of always be a different size, which I like because I feel like when you use different size dots, it really gives um, different kind of layers to your art. Sometimes I actually like to add big dots um, and then put little dots underneath, uh, over top of them, sorry. And also with my dots, I like to kind of do patterns. So especially with the coloring, so I will do like one color and then I'll do another color and I'll make sure I do that to every single kind of dot. Um, but obviously with dotting, you can even do it sporadically. It doesn't have to be um, in a pattern. So I first started painting when I was very young. Uh, with my mother and I actually didn't like painting when I was young um, I did not like my paintings but my mum would always say to me just keep going just keep adding to your paintings and I think that's why I actually fell in love with painting is because I would just kind of be drawn back to it because I really love the way that we can really express who we are through our art and especially with Aboriginal art, it's really about storytelling and we can do that through our symbols and through our animals, even through colour. Um, and it is such a reflection of who we are as a people, but also individually, it's a reflection of our own personalities. And that's what I love about art is it's so individual. Um, and yeah, it's such an expression of who we are. Um, and yeah, I just really encourage you guys to have a go. Um, I think creativity is something where um, you really have to chase it and it can just grow and grow and become something that is so beautiful. Um, you can just be so creative with art, like it never, never ends. Your ideas will just keep going. And yeah, that's what I really love about art. So thank you guys so much for having me um, and I hope you enjoy painting. Finding yourself. At some point in life, we all go through something, something that defines who we will turn out to be. We all go on a journey and sometimes your journey can consist of multiple paths. These paths lead to character development, but sometimes they lead nowhere. That's why you start on another. I wouldn't change anything about my past, good or bad, because without my past, I wouldn't be me. Hi, my name's Imogen Clarence. I'm from the Camilleroy mob out at Gundawindi. I'm studying a Bachelor of Business and Social Science at Bond University. I started painting about a month ago during end of semester exams. It was a healthy outlet to help me escape stress from my exams and assessments. Painting is very therapeutic for me. It also helps me connect to my culture and helps me tell my story. I'm an emerging Aboriginal artist and this is my first time selling and I'm hoping to expand from here.
Hey, mob. Um, today we're having a yarn about everything. Take a step. Um, today I got Ishmael with me, deadly brother. Um, Ishmael, do you want to introduce yourself? Yes. Hello, Shani. Um, hello, my name is Ishmael Haridulan, and my mob is from the Laudil people of Morton Island. I'm currently studying at Bonn University. And I'm studying a Diploma of Arts and a Bachelor of Film and Television. Okay. So um, I'm actually participating uh, today from Bonn University, which is home to the Kumberi people of the uh, uh, sorry, Yugambari, uh language speaking. Um, I pay respects to the elders past, present and emerging. Oh, deadly. Tell me a little bit about your studies and what made you want to study what you're studying um actually it's a good um good start actually because so um what made me want to study uh film actually was not actually within the film i just wanted to become a, a an actor uh so the idea was to become an actor so if i wanted to become an actor i wanted to get a degree in the industry and so that way it would put me in the industry and then that way i could sort of you know make changes in the industry of uh, film and um drama but um yes I took studying a Diploma of Arts and a Bachelor of Film and Television because I felt like uh, I just found an interest in um, the way movies were made and like the process of movies and, you know, you know, just the ins and out, the tedious things. But yeah. That's, that's super deadly to be able to identify like what your, like your interests are and be able to yeah. turn your interest into, uh, to follow your interest actually and to further... Yeah to further, uh, like, develop those skills. Um, so that's pretty mm. cool, I reckon. How old are you? I'm actually turning 21 uh, as of this weekend on Saturday. Oh, definitely, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Man, um, oh, but, yeah. Um, but the, 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 I've actually thought about this a lot. So, you know, I wanted to become an actor, but then I've sort of changed that to become uh, an ambassador for the Australian, or well, the Indigenous side of Australia. Because, you know, you think of ambassadors for Australia in America you think of Chris Hemsworth and like Hugh Jackman and all those yeah. good actors so I want to become a, an ambassador yeah a black a black <laughs> ambassador for uh, Australia to represent that and bring that to Hollywood that, that's some deadly goals very deadly mm. goals and it seems like you're definitely on the right path or you're taking the right steps towards um pursuing your purpose and your interests and your goals so that is super super deadly but I must get pretty stressful sometimes um you know uni I know myself you know yeah, um, yeah it does uh, get pretty stressful yeah it can be really really stressful at times and um you know uni is a pretty high pressure environment um and you know you say you're from up north and you've come down here to do uni what mm. um what do you think some of the challenges that you've found um you know moving away from your from your home, from your family, um, to pursue your purpose and, um, you know, being in such a high pressure um, environment. Um, it, yeah, it must be quite yeah. challenging at times. So what are some of the things that you do, I guess, to keep yourself, you know, strong and um, uh, healthy? Yeah. I know you've so, been training a little bit. Yeah, so I try and keep my yeah. So I try and get the, yeah, get them gains. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, but I, I I try to get um try to get my sort of clear my mental health and sort of space as well. So I'll go for walks if you know if things everything's like loading up really fast. I'll just I'll just put everything down and go for a walk and just clear my mind. Look at the sunset. Look at the sunrise. Depending what day it is, um, I'll call my mum which is always good. It uh, brings me, it calms me down a bit. Yeah. It's always good to call family as well. Yeah. Um, I'll, yeah, yeah, that's that's what I do actually. It's just how I sort of stay level, stay, stay grounded, I suppose. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's mm. definitely important being um, away from home and away from family and more than that, you know. And so for you, how do you stay connected to your um strong place or the place that you currently moved to here on the Gold Coast? Um so you honestly 
Nah. Yeah, I'll go for walks, but um, probably just talking to uh, the and people in the uh, Indigenous Nibel Centre, honestly. That's how yeah. I feel sort of connected to the to, to Bond Uni and, like, you know, uh, uh, Gold Coast as well. It's just um, talking to people and also just sort of disconnecting from technology, I suppose, and just yeah. sitting down just to appreciate, like, a good sunset. You yeah. Know? Yeah, that's yeah. definitely. Oh, I love a good sunset too. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm a no, for those. Definitely. And that's just it, eh? Like you talk about the Indigenous students yeah. at Bond University, so there would be a lot of other um, Indigenous students there that are away from home as well. And do you mm. feel like you've got a sense of community and of belonging within that center? Well, yeah, we, we do have a sense of community and belonging as well. It's the same with new students as well. We sort of take them in and be like, yeah, this is the Nimble Centre, you know, make yourself at home like don't be shy don't be gaming like come in yeah. eat all the food you know how it is yeah. eat the noodles <laughs> you want to feed don't be yeah. shy nah. eat, eat, all, <laughs> eat all of Paul Martin's like you know curry and stuff oh, yeah. Yeah, Lord, I miss them yeah. curries <laughs> but yeah nah. no truly yeah. that makes you miss home too eh? I miss the mm. like, I love a good curry um but yeah mm. that's like, yeah 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 Deadly. Deadly. So, yeah. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. So, and um, I know that you go to the gym a little bit. Well, Tell me about that. How does no, that come? Um, it's also like, you know, my perspective of, um, well, I go by the rule of, you know, health is wealth. Yeah. You know, I do health is wealth in 2021 or health is wealth in 2022. Um, I believe, I'm a strong believer in um, to keep your health you know, you know, keep your health in check as well, it's especially for us Indigenous kids, where you just, like, switch off and just work on something else other than, you know, worrying about stress, you know. In that, like, 30 to one hour time, I can just focus on me. And if I do that for, like, you know, a day or, like, a week, you know, I'm better than I was last week, you know what I mean? Just, yeah. That, hmm. That's so deadly and that is so important, just, like, switching off and focusing on whether mm. it's like you're working out or you're training in that one hour period. It's just like, I'm not gonna worry about exams or my assignments. Yeah. Like worrying about worry or worrying about stress, say, eh? but. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sort of experimenting and I'm like, oh, you know, I, I can focus on one thing and I sort of carry that into whatever I do. Or like, I, I create a habit of that actually. Yeah. Um, reading books is actually is, um, one of the, another thing that I uh, sort of stay grounded as well helps me feel um helps my mental health as well yeah no that's deadly so mm. deadly. i also listen to ed shiny i've told shiny numerous times but <laughs> i listen to some headspace before i go to bed it's like you know um like the headspace app it helps me like you know sort of forget about the day and stop worrying about the day and just you know as i said like be in the now yeah. but also it helps me get a good hour of sleep and you know sort of like reading me a bedtime story i suppose but it, it helps and I've created, like, as I said, it's a habit. So now I can't get to sleep without it. And it's a good habit to get into, actually. Yeah. Um, yes. So head.